Hey, how you doing? This is Emilio here from Verpex. We're gonna be talking about in this video how to add and manage multiple domains within your Verpex hosting platform. Now, Verpex, of course, allow you to go and register for domain names. They allow you to go and have some hosting to be able to run your websites. Now, within the cPanel space, which is where you're gonna be managing your website, you're also gonna be managing your domains, your DNS, things like this, well, sometimes there are requirements for you to actually have multiple domains in this one spot. You can manage all of these domains from the one hosting provider, the one hosting location. Where I've got my primary domain being verpex.com, well, sometimes I wanna have all these other domains managed within the one cPanel. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump onto our computer, we're gonna log into our cPanel on our Verpex hosting platform, and we're gonna show you how to do it. But before we do get into that, please remember, as always, to click on that subscription button, click on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. So if you don't already have a Verpex account, this is where you go and set one of those up. Go grab yourself your reseller hosting. You can set it up to be monthly or 12 months. In my case, I'm gonna go for the pro reseller, which is at $20 per month. And then I just go and sign it up accordingly. Now out of the box, this pro reseller account will come with 50 cPanel accounts and I'm gonna select my server location to be in London. Then I'm gonna go and register for a new domain. Now, of course, you need to register for as many domains as you need to be able to then go and add them into your cPanel. As long as you've got all of those domains inside of your cPanel, we can then move on to the next step and go and register our hosting and our domain, and then we are good to go from there. First things first, we're gonna go and log into our Verpex account, throw in your username and your password. If you need to add additional domains into your cPanel, you're gonna to need to have multiple domains, right? That's the first thing you need to have. So I would recommend getting all of your domains ideally into the one location. So if you have domains managed by other registers, other domain registers, look at getting those migrated into Verpex. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the reseller option over here and we're gonna select login to control panel. So I'm gonna go and select list accounts. Now in my case, I've got the single account right over here, digitalbytetech.org. You can see the IP address, you can see my contact details when it was set up and you can see specifically that the package here is startup reseller. Now what we wanna do is under the cPanel section, we're gonna click on cPanel. Now once you and your customer are in the cPanel, they have the ability to really perform multiple steps. And that's, that's the beauty of course with the cPanel in the first place. They can go and set up their emails, they can do their forwards, they can do all their file management things, they can install PHP, they can install WordPress, they can install databases, they can do a lot of things like that. They also can manage all of the security, you can install all this additional software. So if you are liking to use WordPress, this is where you are gonna go and set it up. Now by default, because I've used this against my single domain, my actual Verpex account is connected to one single domain, it's logged into the cPanel and my default domain is my digital byte tech domain that you saw before. Under the domain section, we select domains. You'll notice that my primary domain is digitalbytech.org, and you can see that it actually says main domain and it's defaulting to public underscore HTML. Now at the moment, this domain is not doing anything, does not have WordPress, doesn't have any sort of CMS platform installed against it. So if I navigate to that website, it doesn't actually work. From here, you can go and create an email account and you can also go and manage your domain. At the moment, there's nothing in there. I'm just gonna go and install WordPress real quick. With WordPress now installed, if I select my domain, here is my website under my digitalbytech.org domain. Now the next step from here is to add additional domains. So I'm gonna select create a domain over here. Knowing that this is my existing domain, you'll notice that it says this domain is already in your account. This is where you can now create a subdomain for your primary domain should you want to do that. So I could say in here subdomain.digitalbytech.org. This will now create a subdomain within it. So you can actually set up a completely separate website CMS directly on your subdomain and I can select submit. My subdomain is now listed. I can then go and create another one. Intranet, submit. And I have two subdomains within my primary domain. Now remembering at the moment, if I select on my primary domain, it opens up my default WordPress website. If I select the second one, it does not go anywhere because I've not actually installed anything on that subdomain. Let's now create a second domain, myhostingdomain.com. 
You can now select document root, being that you can share the document root with your digitalbytetech.org or not, given that that is my primary domain. You can select yes or no. In my case, I'm gonna select no, submit. Now you'll notice that under here, I've now got my new website, okay? Myhostingdomain.com is now listed. I've also added a few other domains along with a few different subdomains. Now this will allow me to add really any URL into here, but remembering that you of course have to be the owner of that domain and ideally have that domain as part of your Verpex plan. So you need to go and transfer any domains from any other locations into the one single location and then you can centrally manage them from within this C panel. If you want to remove a domain, you select that manage spot over here. Here is your domain. You can also set up some different settings or you can also click on remove domain. Yes, you are sure that will remove the domain and noting that that will remove everything that is a part of it. So just be aware that you have a adequate backup or that you're confident that you can delete that domain. Once you have your multiple domains configured and set up and ready to go, you can also transfer your main domain between each of those. So thanks so much for tuning in. Let us know down below in the comments what you thought of this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and do remember as always to click on that subscription button, click on the bell, so that you don't miss out on any of our future video releases. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video.